What is going on my dudes? Tasha here back again with another episode of Hoyo News. Now today's news is going to be a little bit, you know, condensed I guess or not. There's not really much going on in the world of Hoyoverse. So honestly, like it's going to be tough to really talk about some stuff, but I'm going to do my very best to keep you guys entertained while we're talking about this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, our first story of the day is actually about a Genshin Impact quiz show. That's right. Hoyoverse is hosting a gone, gone, Genshin Impact quiz show and registrations are up right now if you want to sign up. Right now, it's for September 20th through October 8th for the signups, which again, that was two days ago as of this recording until Saturday the 8th. And then the actual quiz show is going to take place on the 22nd. The 22nd being, uh, let's see, on a Saturday. Yeah, so 22nd is going to be on a Saturday. Uh, if you want to participate and you want to register with it, obviously go to this little link that's going to be in the description down below. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I would participate in it, but I honestly don't think I'd get in. You know, it, it could be it could be that I don't get in or not. I don't know how this is going to work. Has this happened before with Hoyoverse uh, games? Let me know in the comments down below. Would love to hear you guys' opinion on it. Now, of course, we also got the announcement for the voice actor that is going to be playing as Sino in Genshin Impact, and that is going to be Alejandro Saab, who is also known as Kagi Films and Sino the VTuber. Now, this is actually a really, really good uh, character in general when it comes to matching them with Kagi films because Kagi is known for a lot of different roles, but the main ones I really know him from are actually from video games and he's played. Uh, I can't remember his name, but it's the main character in Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, I, I wish I could remember the name off the top of my head. So my apologies, guys, but he is that main character of Dragon Ball Legends, the guy who loses his memory and then gets every single power up in existence. But he also does voice a character in one of my favorite game series known as Death End Request, and he plays the role of Arata, who is the main male protagonist in the first game. So that's what I found rather interesting because I had no idea that he actually voiced Arata. So fantastic. I love Sino. Sino is a really, really cool character in general. Honestly, I think he is Razor's brother because it would make sense from what it looks like. But I digress. That's really all I could say about it. Um, Kagi is a wonderful voice actor. Very good. And honestly, I love a lot of the roles that he plays in. To make sure that I place myself over here, I'm going to make sure that I'm a little over here from now on. So we also got news about Sambo for Honkai Impact Star Rail. Now, this isn't really news news because we've known about Sambo since uh, closed beta one, to be honest. And Sambo's really, really cool. He is going to be like the animo style character. Um, I think he looks cool. I didn't get to play as him really in the closed beta too much, but I digress. He is really cool. I just need Star Rail to hurry up and actually like release the character, you know, or not release the character, but release the game. So hurry up, Hoyoverse. Alicia was also released in Honkai Impact 3rd this week, and a lot of people are very, very happy with Alicia. She is a gorgeous character, and this art is really, really good. She is very egotistical from what I'm hearing, but I will say I was pretty, pretty upset with my mod Mika because she just happened to pull Alicia in the first multi. I desperately need to get back into Honkai Impact 3rd. Um, I haven't been playing a lot because, well, I've had a lot of stuff going on, especially getting ready for TwitchCon. So... If you guys are pulling on Alicia and Honkai Impact 3rd, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you're in the Discord, post your pictures of your summons. We do have a Honkai Impact 3rd section for all you lovelies out there. Also, the, what happened this week was, I guess, a Google glitch kind of happened. I don't entirely know. But apparently, there was a lot of stuff going on with Google Play where it came to you couldn't top up on Genshin or Honkai Impact 3rd. So that's pretty weird i would guess like honestly i i don't entirely know um i wasn't affected by this because i didn't buy primos this week but you know it is what it is for all of you guys who experienced this problem i believe we got compensated for it in general so yeah i mean it, if if we did we did if we didn't we didn't i can't remember off the top of my head but as it stands it looks like we are able to purchase our primos and all that through the google play store again if that is what you're doing 
Now, some of you who do watch me on Twitch probably know that I did announce that I was going to watch a special stream for Honkai Star Rail on that Friday. To be honest, I'll be I'll be 100% real with y'all. I got drunk that night and did not stream. But I will say this, I am glad that I didn't cover this stream. Not only did I mean they had Honkai Star Rail and they had Zenla Zone Zero stuff, but I'm honestly very happy that I didn't cover this because there wasn't anything worthwhile in these streams. I made the prediction that we would get Honkai Star Rail news of a release date, and I could tell you right now with 100% certainty, we did not get that. And it's very unfortunate because, again, a lot of people are clamoring for Honkai Star Rail, but we didn't get anything. We, we got nothing. Zip. Nada. No information. And not only that, but it was almost like regurgitated stuff that we already kind of knew. And that's kind of the brunt that I wanted to talk about today is like, it's very upsetting when somebody like me who's wanting to get hype for this game. And honestly, I do get pretty hyped for some of the stuff coming with the Hoyoverse uh, people. But when it comes to Honkai Star Rail, it sucks because it's like you want to see the game live. But you can't because, you know, they they haven't released it. And I know we're going through another closed beta. They probably won't make a release date until after the closed beta is done. But at the same time, like if you're going to make a massive thing about, you know, the game at TGS. Probably would have been a good idea to actually provide some more content for it or at least. Make a release date like thing, you know, something or other, but. Honestly, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, there's not really that much news out this week. And um, hopefully we get some new news for a couple of things for both Honkai Star Rail, Zenless Zone Zero uh, by next week. Now, again, just as a reminder for all you Genshin Impact people out there, uh, Genshin Impact 3.1 is releasing on the 28th. So you have six days as of this recording, five days of the release of this video to get this done. So please, please, please get your farming done for Sino and Candace. And for all you guys who are who got Alicia on Honkai Impact 3rd, congratulations and good luck to all you guys waiting for more news. But that's going to be it for me today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And guys, we will see you all in the next Hoyo News uh, video. Take care and be safe.